Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. With over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Peebos Zeos XS Multimedia Computer. Um, it does run the Tofu OS and is based on with a dual OS of Android 4.2.2. Um, it has a 1.5 GHz dual-core CPU in it, as well as a dual-core GPU at 400 MHz. You also get 1 gig of DDR3 memory on board, as well as 8 gigs of flash memory for storage. You also can expand that storage space using a micro SD card if you choose to do so. So let's take a look at the Zeos XS multimedia machine itself and I'll show you all the ports that it comes with and tell you a little bit more about what it's capable and then we'll take a look at the software. So here we have the Zeos XS multimedia device and here's what you get in the package. You get the actual little mini computer here, and you get a power plug for it, which is just a USB connection because it runs off of that standard, 5 volts, 2 amps, and you get a micro USB cable to connect the Zeos into it, so if you needed to use a longer cable, it's a pretty standard connection to be hooking up the power for this. and well as a HDMI connector and a remote for it. So you can use the remote for scrolling through the menus and things like that on the device itself. So here's what you have with this. You have a infrared sensor here for the remote. On the back you have your connection for your micro USB connection for your power, your HDMI, you also have a RJ45 Ethernet connection and a optical connection for SPDIF. On the side is a USB connector so you can put a keyboard and mouse in it or a flash drive. The other side is a second USB connection and your micro SD card slot as well. So What you definitely get with this is the ability to stream just about anything you want from anywhere. The internet, your local network, or servers that you have access to outside of your local network, um, you can connect into them. It also does have wireless, I think I forgot to mention that, 802.11bg and N wireless built into the device, so you don't have to have a hardwired connection for it. So if you're streaming anything in a higher definition, I would recommend you use that. Um, there's the power line adapters out there available that work pretty well to give you a decent throughput for um, hardwiring these types of devices into your network. Um, wireless is a little bit finicky with, with a lot of media streaming and things like that, which is why I'll make that recommendation. So pretty powerful little box um, considering how small it is, especially the fact that it runs off of a USB adapter is very cool and it works with keyboards and mice. I personally tested it with a USB wireless mouse combination and that worked nicely. So now that you've seen the box itself, heard the specifications of it, let's check out the software. Alright everyone, now let's take a look at the user interface for the Peebo Zeos XS Multimedia micro P Mini PC Micro PC uh, Unit. And what we have here is various options for different types of things. You can set up weather, favorites, you can search the system. Under system, you can um, go into the add-ons or the settings for tofu profiles and skin settings so if you don't like the look of it you can go in and customize the skin that's being used this particularly is just the settings for the skin that we're in that we're using at this moment and um, so you can customize it a little bit in there 
under tofu settings you have a number of things that you can customize with the box one of them of course is the language and you have the screen calibration and the audio settings as well as what connection you're using for your internet and the time zone you also can set up the remote control and the Bluetooth and those types of things so you can do a firmware update you restore factory settings and you can even get into a deeper set of settings for the Android portion of the system um, such as adding your Google accounts and things like that in here once you go through all those settings it will bring you back to the main user interface screen and under profiles you can add other users to this if you wanted to so they can have a different set of stuff weather app of course you have to set that up under pictures you can add picture locations this is pretty much how this works for both the pictures videos and the movie uh, videos and the music um, you can go in here and go to browse and you can add a network location or you can use any one of these other types of files that are available right now I'm just gonna cancel and for simplicity sake I did plug into an external hard drive of course you can use the micro SD card slot on the side of the to, um, Pivos Zeos XS as well if we go into the picture folder here I only have some movies and some music on here so I can't really show you the pictures but the setup for the music is exactly the same so we can go in and say we pull up Flock of Seagulls and you'll get the album art and everything like that and be able to play it from here directly from this user interface same kind of thing happens for the videos if we go all the way back to the beginning here for videos go to videos and I actually have already added some channels here as well um, you can do that by going to get more that's some of the add-in potential the customization that you can do with XBMC here and I've added some of these channels into here you simply would select it and install it but for now let's just take a look at the files and if we go to SDA1 which is my external hard drive we can go to movies and you'll see in my music videos folder I actually have a couple with some album art that pops up or some video art that pops up and shows and you can simply play the ISO like this these ISOs here or if you have a video in that's just ripped into DVD format you can play that as well that works just as well um, with this so you can pretty much play any type of video that you'd like if you say wanted to go to music you're not going to really get anything here. You're going to get the folders, but you're not going to be able to play anything. You would have to go back to the music to be able to, to do that. It's not going to automatically recognize that, oh, now you're looking in a music folder. Under apps, oh, sorry, uh, down in the bottom right corner, that little thing that just popped up, that's the shutdown, suspend, and reboot. Um, press the down arrow on my keyboard and that's where it went but if we go into apps it's actually going to give us several options we can add a source for the apps we have program add-ons and we have Android apps Android apps is of course the most interesting part of this because you have full access to the Play Store not all the Android apps work perfectly with this but the majority of them do and the internet part of the that front page actually uses the browser app 
from Android in here. And so for example, I have installed Pandora, so if I want to listen to stream some music, I can do that through my TV. And also Plex Media. So Plex Media allows you to um, set up a streaming server within your house and things like that and throw your videos in it and you'll be able to access that from even outside of your home if it's set up in a certain manner but I wanted to be able to access it from the Pivo so I had set that up and also you'll notice that this acts just like Android you have your pull downs in the menu here with um, your settings you can get into the Android settings this way as well and if we go to X out the last window it's gonna go back to our main menu it takes a second to load back because it actually has to close out of Android and sort of reload a little bit but we can get back to this and go into a lot of different settings so under settings you have the option for your your appearance your add-ons your services and you can set all the, the information for your videos music pictures and monitor the hardware so we can go into the hardware monitor here and we'll see that we actually have the arm processor and under the summary tells you how much memory is free, the screen resolution, the operating system version, uptime, and CPU usage and things like that. Under appearance, you can actually configure the skin and things like, like that, screen saver, and how file lists are handled. If you go to skin though and click on these, you have two skins that are built in, but you can get other skins from the XBMC repository. Just go in here and click get more. So there's quite a few that are compatible with this particular device. So if you don't look like the look, you can kind of play around with that, see if you find something that you like a little bit better. You have the option to customize just about everything that you could possibly want to. And it's nice that you have the Linux based XBMC and layer as well as the Android layer since you have access to a lot more apps as well as the standard being able to stream things from your network and being able to play things off of external media so this is what differentiates this device from many other streaming boxes is that customization and the ability to do a little bit more if you're a power user it is definitely a little bit hard to get used to the two different operating systems that are kind of intertwined here but in general it works pretty well and you're able to play just about anything that I've thrown at it has played pretty pretty well the CPU is powerful enough to, to play 1080p video and such um, I haven't really tried the wireless out too much it is G wireless G B G N wireless so up to 300 megabits per second so if you have a good network you're really not going to have an issue streaming over the wireless as well. Um, so technically, you can the wireless could be potentially faster than the 100 meg Ethernet. It's worked beautifully over the 100 meg Ethernet. Um, the two USB ports on it are sufficient. I would have liked to see three, but um, the way my keyboard mouse combination works, I'm able to run them off of one Bluetooth dongle, so that works for me and still have a USB port open for like external storage and things like that. Anyways, that pretty much completes the tutorial and the look at the Pivos Zeos XS. So as you can see from the software and everything, this Pivos Zeos XS device is very small and is capable of handling a lot of different things with the side-loaded Android and also with the Tofu um, operating system so you're able to connect into your local network streaming um, and also able to stream directly on the device or off of a micro SD card using its storage space and definitely 
using the Android apps and things like that, you're able to stream things like Netflix and stuff like that. So there's a lot of competition out there for these types of media devices that go on your television. This one happens to be very small, definitely powerful enough to do whatever you need. And Pivos in general got this pretty much right. Um, the interface is a little bit tough to get used to, but once you get used to it, um, it's definitely powerful enough to do whatever you need, need to do for your streaming. So I hope this review was helpful to you and helped you make a decision on whether you wanted to go with something like this or something else for your streaming needs. And definitely check out the full review at www.hightechlegion.com and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages as well. Take care.